promises cause it's meant to be broken. Trust is just a word, no describing to it, it's only a feeling. My path is the only path I can take. Yeah, I know it's chosen. There ain't no easy road, I gotta create it. It's not given. I'm just living. What's up? Hi Kiwi, what's up my man? We is in a good mood today. Spot the diff up here. Five wins, one loss. And that one loss we had could have damn well be a victory. We are cruising right now. Platinum 2, 37 LP. Um, we haven't had a real game yet. This has all been placement games. I have played all my placement games. Um, we uh, still have to see how much LP we actually get per win. I'm hoping 19 or more. Uh, that would be really nice. It, we might get shit LP until we reach our real rank, which is diamond. We'll have to see. Uh, doesn't really matter though, since all we do is win. So, um, yeah, let's abuse a little bit of that demonic Udia free LP train while we still can. Uh, diff some bitches and hey, why don't you stay along for the ride, watch the game, entertain yourself, and you might even learn a little bit. Prove your own Udia, get that LP yourself. Hey, I'm all for it. I'm all for it. Also, queuing top lane second feels really good now. Now I'm I'm grown more confident with top lane Udia ever since I've tried Road of Ages Udia. Feels pretty fucking good. Burn these motherfuckers to the ground. That's exactly what we're gonna do, Quitter. Burn them to ashes. Reap the LP from them.
Oh wait, Sunfire? Sunfire? Nah. Like, as a late game item, yeah, definitely. You can definitely build Sunfire Udia on the demonic build as a late game item, but I would always go demonic into Jug Show every game. It's just too broken not to go. Rod Deer for top? Absolutely, yes. Rod of Ages Udia top lane is so chill. You just build Face Rush on top, you can't be engaged, you have insane sustain and mana, right? You never run out of mana. You can just spam turtle to sustain yourself. If they try to hard engage you, you face rush out of there. You do short trades, right? You 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 combine that with uh, Sarah's embrace, and you just scale stupidly hard into the late game. They don't win lane phase because you simply do not interact with them, and you just outscale them. Rot your top lane pretty good. Have you seen the new A soul? I did. His ultimate is pretty pork. Riot is really getting the hang of what an ultimate should really feel like. He does seem a little bit broken though. His damage is insane. I saw some clips. I saw some clips. Yeah, he does seem very fucking broken. He gets resets as well. That's kind of scary. Uh, let's bend my bath. Excuse me for a second, I still need to type to somebody here. Setting up a date, you know how it is. The thing is, most of the clips, he has like four items and Mac Major. No, well, most of them, but there was actually a clip where he was defending base and his KD was six and nine or something like that. So he was actually behind at that point. They fully count up my cutter. With. The countered cutter with the new A soul? Or what? Does he really do that? If if the new A soul plants his um fucking field on the ground that drags people towards the center, can't cutter just jump out of there? Or oh, the champs he typed. Samira Yone Telonazilian. Samira Yone Telonazilian. Yeah, that's a rough one. That is a really a rough one. They don't have a good front end though, if Nar doesn't have his big form. I wanna play the Cyber with a custom skin, hold up. I read chat in a second. I need to install this custom skin or else I forget. There we go. Let's grab that free LP, baby. Instead of sticking to you like glue, you have to evade a fucking black hole. It's not that deep, bro. I'm pretty sure Azor's black hole is gonna be like um, Rel Ultimate. If you're like super close to Rel, it's kind of tough getting out too, but if you're like at the outer edge of it, you can simply walk out, no problem. Like the closer you get to it, the harder it is to get out of there. But yeah, if he misplaces it even slightly, you just walk out of there, I'm sure. I mean, plus, yes, if you're like a movement speed based champion like Udir, it might be a little bit tougher getting out of there. 
But I feel like any other champion in League of Legends, let's say fucking Belvev, you just press one of your million dashes and you're out of there. You can use dashes while in there, right? It would be pretty broken if you can't. I think only Cinch W can do that. Uh, oh yeah, speaking of Belvev, ban her again. Fuck that bitch. And there's an Udyo ban. That's okay though. We worked on our Wukong. We worked on our Wukong. I'm confident. Well, got to go. Got to go. Play my game. See you in a bit. See you around, Kiwi. The three hour ransom fed his soul. Does he get stronger with time? Yes? Oh, that's amazing. I like that. I like infinite stacking. I love it. Nessus and Vega are uh, both in my top 20 most played champions, I think. Yes, whatever, trade with me. Man, aside from the custom skin I have for Wukong, all the Wukong skins I have are shit. Radiant Wukong you can play now and then, but not every game. General Wukong is pretty ass. I need Volcanic and Jade. Maybe even Underworld. This one is shit too. But Jade Wukong is probably the best Wukong out there. Because that guy got the Wuju drip. That is that is like Wukong fully in his in in, in his Wuju drip. I used to be subscribed to Vandira, but uh, I don't know. There were like a bunch of videos I didn't like, and then I unsubscribed to them. I can't remember what it was. I think I think he started to do a lot of videos just showing bugs instead of showing new stuff, and I kind of didn't like that. I'm not too interested into seeing game breaking bugs. Like it's not fun for me to see because most of the time it's just in fucking um, on the PBE and it gets fixed before it hits live anyway. And even if it hits live, if you abuse this game breaking bug, you're literally gonna get banned. So that's the point. Yeah, I got him recommended uh, recently as well. Can't remember what it was. It was like a 40 second video. I think I even clicked it. <laughs> I mean, we have Silas Aatrox, but uh, this is pretty fucking scary. If Darius doesn't get fed, I think we have a good chance of winning. I can handle Caitlyn. I don't think LeBlanc is gonna be good. And Echo, uh, we can hardly see this guy with the team we have, so we can catch him. And hopefully take him down before he gets to use his ultimate. But yeah, Caitlyn is a little bit scary. One of the strongest AD carries right now, but I mean, Wukong got the skills to take her down. It's just really Darius I'm worried about. Yeah. They do be some snowballers. Hold up, I'll be right back. I need to turn up the heater. I'm freezing. Oh, by the way, new sweater I got from Vintage Shopping. Check the drip. It's comfy as fuck. Man, I. I, I remember when I went to school, the only thing I would wear were sweatshirt jackets. It was just jackets, and now I'm much more of a sweater guy. 
Jackets are just not as comfortable as sweaters. This is... Oh, I love the comfiness. It's just pure bliss. Chilling in a sweater. It's not the same when you close a sweatshirt jacket in front of you. You know? It's, it's not the same. It can never be as comfortable. It's so cold right now, I'm wearing a jacket underneath the fucking gown. Oh my lord. Dude, I remember the first year I moved into this apartment, um, my heating system actually broke down. And I think my landlord was out of town or something. And I had to live like a whole day and a whole night without any heat. And it was like in the middle of winter. Like everything was frozen. Dude, in, I was sitting in front of my PC with uh, the blanket and sheets from my, from my bed. Like I was sitting in here like sitting in my bed. Only my hands sticking out from the blanket so I could play games. And my hands were freezing off, dude. I couldn't perform. <laughs> that shit was cold as a motherfucker. Oh, yeah. Dude, when, when I moved in here, it was like I was working out all the bugs because this apartment was um, abandoned for, I think, three years, two to three years before I moved in. So all the stuff was still renovated, but it was really old. Uh, so I moved in, first winter, heat system broke, right? Okay, dope, fun. Fucking, uh, the boiler started spouting water when you filled it up again. Fucking boiler broke. Great. Fine. Fun. Uh, lamps in, in the kitchen broke. Lamps in the bathroom broke. Everything broke at least once. And after everything was fixed once, now it's, it's grand. It's grand. Really, I, I can't complain. But when I moved in here, there were a lot of bugs to work out. Let me tell ya. And even then, I, I wouldn't complain though. I wouldn't complain. I think they are so much worse than a lamp or a boiler or the heat system breaking down. As long as it gets fixed quickly. Um, a mate of mine actually had to move apartments, I think six times now. The last time I actually had to move. Um, and they have to move for like ridiculous reasons. Like one of their apartments got broken into two times. Imagine living in an apartment that has been broken into two times. It's, it's, it's crazy enough to have your private home be broken into and your stuff taken out. But imagine like the, the horror of having your house broken into while you're still in it. That hasn't happened to him, but the fear must have been there, right? So they had to move out of there. And in another place they were in, there were um, there was mold growing on the walls. Obviously you can't stay in an apartment that has fucking mold. It's not healthy and it's disgusting. So like, two of their apartments they literally just had to move out because fucking burglars and mold. Compared with that, I'm fucking lucky. I'm fucking lucky. I couldn't imagine moving this often. I would have to dis disassemble, disassemble my entire bed. I think he would take this fight. An enemy has oh, been unlucky. Slain. 
I thought the uh, LeBlanc chasing him under the turret was the clone. I did not think either of them would take the fight. Oh well. An enemy has been slain. By the way, I have to mute the Silas pigs. This guy got instantly toxic. I don't fuck with that. Ah, oh, unlucky. I wanted to go the long way around to catch the Darius, but then Echo ganked. I should have known he was there because he didn't gank bot lane. What are you looking at, huh? Yeah, this guy doesn't dare walk up. Okay, I should do it. My journey's only beginning. Oh boy. An ally has been slain. Been waiting What's about to say? And the Silas has got to be mad. I hope he doesn't go mental though. I might not be as insane on Wukong as uh, as Udia, but give me a chance. I perform later. Just need an item. Need my first bag. Unlucky, he survived the combo. If I had my W up and didn't... Okay, nice, we don't have to flash, right? We have to flash, unlucky. If I wouldn't have used my W here on the wall, I could have used the W on the turret to get another auto attack in. That would have killed. Um, but I wouldn't have been fast enough to the turret to still have enough minions to dive him. It was a really rough situation. I don't know if there was a right play there. I wanna gank bot lane next. I kinda hate that first game of the day we don't get to pick the deer. Bro, yeah, face check him. Whatever. Dude, they, these guys have already made up their minds to blame me for everything. Fuck these people. Yes, I'm not the insane as Wukong, but it's good enough to carry your dumb ass if you don't lose your mentor. Just get me to mid game and I perform. Silas professional inter, yeah maybe. He's getting a little bit camp, but he is also not trying to play safe at all. He's kinda asking to get pissed on really. Okay, we can get a huge bot lane gank here though. I got my ult up. Bot lane is pushing in, I could sneak into these bushes. An ally has been slain. Oh, man, the 
that's done most of the but... Oh my god. This Draven is insane. That was a nutty ult. It's unfortunate. A little bit of a mid gap, huh? Adapt to all situations. Scatter crab actually so OP right there. Spotted me instantly. Show me the path. Yo, what the fuck is happening in here? to ego it, don't we? Don't we, bro, don't we? Silas is super low on health and is staying mid lane. I ping him to back off and type in chat that I can hold lane. This guy's like, nah, I want the fight. We didn't have to take this fight, you know? Could have just let me hold the lane. I went 11-0 full stack majors, then they FF after 4v1. Hogger spray. Nicely done. This is an easy gank. I've never seen one. I got this. Do be watered though. To ult there. Otherwise, he would have queued to get health back. He could have queued ult my Aatrox for the kill. Obviously, we can't have that. Dude, this is such an easy win. Draven is actually piss stomping the meta ADC. Six and one. We got Aatrox for our front line. We got me three and all. Oh. Fuck this Silas, dude. Silas and Jenna can int and we can still win. We can gap these fools, bro. We can. Trust, believe. Please believe. Oh my god, believe. Never settle for second. I don't know, bro. Fucking... Caitlyn is pretty much a free win right now because she's so strong, unless she's paired up against Samira. I don't know how Draven is winning against her, it must just be the fucking alpha Draven genes. This guy is just a superior being. Yeah, Draven's is like a hit or miss, right? They, they either get super fat and one-shot everybody or they get pissed on. But even if they get pissed on, late game they can still one-shot. Draven is a little bit like Yasuo and Yona in that regard, but in a Giga Chat way, not the cringe way. Not the cringe free scaling way. Draven really has to work for it. 
He can just get back into the game in late game because of his passive. Like some extra gold. I want ult for this. Would be a waste to ult for that. Dude, we're absolutely taking over. Bot lane and mid lane, uh, bot lane and top lane switching lanes at the exact perfect time. Oh yes, easy win. Come on, give it. Give me the LP. Just get me to diamond so we can continue the grind. Dude, we can get masters this season, I can feel it. Go. I don't want to work for that. Nice. Okay, see? I don't wait for that. We actually get Bard Flash. Worth. What? Uh -oh. That might have not been the best Herald ever. Oh my god, see the stream is a chat, bro. And I disappointed the chat. I fucked up. I fucked up on so many fronts. That was my bad. I should have stayed close to the uh, Draven, so I could knock up Echo right after he engages him. And after that I didn't engage fast enough. We still 3 and 1. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. You, you have to analyze and accept the mistakes you make once you make them, even if you're hard winning. That's the way you improve. You have to like reflect. You have to reflect. Just Zen mode. I mean, yes. To to win this game specifically, yes. Just being absolute Zen and only thinking positive will definitely win me this game. But like in the long run, if I actually want to improve as a player, not just go game by game. My god, this shit lasts so long, what the fuck? There's no way he can contest this, right? Come on. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna just do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're good, we're good. Put me to the test. Draven isn't weak early. Draven is absolutely not weak early. Draven's bonus damage on his Q is monstrous at every point in the game. Draven likes the fight early, mid and late. Takes every fight he can get, bro. Draven is a monster. Show me the path. Like Draven has bonus damage on his Q, bonus attack speed on his W, bonus movement speed on his W, and um, his E is hard CC, which not a lot of AD carries have. Like straight up. Hard CC. You can throw into your enemy's face. Draven is a stat check machine. If he wants to fight, he will take it. Man, if I would have known this guy would survive for this long, I would have been there sooner.
I need to stop holding my ult, bro. It doesn't even have that long of a cooldown. I never want to use my ult, it's just for one person. But it would have been a safe kill if I would have. I need to stop holding it. I'm inting. Unlucky. Bring me a real challenge. There we go. I'll so just stick with this Draven. I don't have ult, but I can still protect him with my damage. Wow, this guy's going in. Draven, this is a little bit deep, my guy. Okay, you're the boss. God damn! Draven and Earth is a bit different. You don't have to catch the axe. That's a good point. Well, catching the axe does give you passive stacks though. But yeah, true. We just keep pressuring both lanes until one turret goes down. We can take a fight once I got my ultimate. Four seconds. That was close. That was real close. Man, I need to spend my fucking gold. I got 2,400. You got it. That pissed me off, ping the ward. Which one? Is the ward? Where? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Wow. Well, yeah. Usually I always ping wards for gold. Double kill. The gate? Kill. Left. Yeah? Ace. You're fucking with me. Oh, there it is. Dude, I'm not doing it on purpose. Your instructions are not that good, man. Cut me a break here. <laughs> the left of the right gate. Yeah, we, I, I've, I've seen that now. I've seen that now. <laughs> Alright. Boom, damn. That's the first win. We get 20 LP per win. I feel like a kid again, bro. This is like fucking... Season 8 again, man, when I was grinding through gold and getting 20 LP per win. My god. 20 LP! That is so nutty. I, I was happy about 19 last season. 20, let's go. And my MMR is really good. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> Look at Draven's damage. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. My god. Hey, brother Robin, what's up? Jesse, what's up, bro? What's up? We just missed the last game. Draven fucking perma smurfed. And we were just along for the ride. Udia got banned, so we performed a little bit on the Wukong. Uh, team was pretty toxic, but we just muted and went through. First one of the day. Got that shit in the bank. And uh, now we're going for some more. I think we're almost... Yeah, we're, we're getting pretty close to Platinum 1. With 20 LP per win, we need 3 more wins to uh, get Platinum 1. 3 more wins. Wukong game's been good. I mean, I've been playing Wukong a lot in normal games to the point where I feel like he's ranked ready. And I think this was the first or second time I played him on ranked. And he's pretty good, yeah 
pretty good. I feel like, aside from Amumu, this is gonna be my jungle pocket pick now. He just has so much value in his kit, it's fucking beautiful. Alright, let's see if we can grab the deer this time. I got to go play with my friends. See you later and have a good night. Hey, see you around, Kiwi. Have fun with your friends, dude. Good luck, have fun, and all that jazz. Dude. Ban a champion, what are you doing, you idiot? Are you okay? What are your thoughts on the Omnivamp to lifestyle changes? I thought they're super weird, bro. I think it's weird. Um, there's a lot of champions that build Ravenous Hydra right now that really like Omnivamp. And it's now going over to lifesteal, and you really have to think to yourself, okay, is this item wor still worth it now? On on some items it makes sense, on other items it doesn't. Like Gore Drinker specifically, uh, they took the Omnivamp out of that, I think. Um, what was the other thing? They took the Omnivamp out of Eclipse, which is good though, because Eclipse was pretty much just abused by Zed and uh, Aatrox. So, I mean, that is good, but Ravenous Hydra, I feel like, should keep Omnivamp. Though, the cleave damage of the Ravenous Hydra item still triggers the lifesteal, so that's good. On Wukong, I could still build it. Because, yes, my ultimate won't heal me, my E won't heal me, but my auto attacks and Qs will still heal me. So, I'm kind of torn in between. Um, yeah. I don't know. I'm trying to think of other examples right now. I didn't really build Ravenous Hydra often on Udyr, so... On Udyr it wouldn't be bad either. Like on, on Udyr it doesn't make a difference actually. If you have built Ravenous Hydra on Udyr before, you can still do it. I would argue it's even better on Udyr now. Because um, he's getting an attack speed buff on his Q. Next patch. He's getting 10% more attack speed on his Q. So, more attack speed means more auto attacks. More auto attacks means more lifesteal. If you build Ravenous Hydra on Udyr before, it's better now. Because he doesn't really care for it to be Omnivamp. It was just a cherry on top, if you ask me. I'm just gonna ask for first pick every day, every game. If I can secure the deer, that would be huge. It's literally almost the same for Udia, I think. Yeah, almost, almost. His Q deals bonus physical damage on hit, and I think on hit damage doesn't trigger lifesteal but omni vamp. So, so I think you lose the healing of the on-hit damage. I think. Pretty sure on-hit triggers on uh, Omnivan. Check. Omnivan is a stat which grants healing. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. yeah, Omnivamp just triggers on everything, of course. Physical vamp. 
Ja. Aber und Lifestyle. Was ist Lifestyle? Can't find Lifestyle here. It just says Omnivamp, Physical Vamp, and Spell Vamp. I don't think Physical Vamp is Lifestyle though. Even though, even though, if if his on hit damage would have triggered uh, on live steal, that would be even better, right? I'm saying Ravenous Hydra is better on Udia than before because he's getting an attack speed buff. That's final. By the way, have you guys seen the Udia nerf? The the nerf they do to Phoenix. That shit is so fucking funny. Riot is off their rockers, thinking that is going to stop the deer. <laughs> Fuck, where did I see it? Okay, I, I can't find it. But it's fucking hilarious, bro. Riot is nerfing Phoenix Udia because obviously Phoenix Udia with Demonic Embrace Rush is pretty strong right now. And Demonic Embrace overall is kind of a problem on melee champions right now. So they nerf it. And what do you think? How much, uh, how much damage do they take away from the Phoenix? What, what, what are they doing? Tell you what they do. One. One as a number, one damage per tick per level. So you put six points in, in Phoenix. Uh, at rank one, you have one damage less per tick. At rank six, you have six damage less per tick. I don't know how many ticks he has. Glacier Storm, four seconds per second. So you lose, at max rank, you lose six, 12, 18, 24 damage. You lose 24 damage on max rank and 6 damage on rank 1. Why even make a nerf like this? Why did you sit down and talk about an Udia nerf if that is what you're gonna do? Because that is not gonna do shit. I'm gonna tell you, that, that ain't gonna stop me. Are you kidding me? 24 damage on max rank less. There's nothing. I wipe my ass with that. That's rookie numbers. Well, it's been forever since I've seen a Gwen. Ever since she got that huge nerf, never seen her again. Must have been like a... This must be like a one trick. This is probably AP Varus, because he got Hail of Blades. I don't like their team, but their frontline is pretty trash. We can work with that. Our frontline is so disgusting and huge. By the way, this, this Wukong game we played, I played that so brain AFK and we still just one for free. I can hardly remember the Wukong game. I'm just happy to have my Udia right now. Ionia's fate is my own. Yo, DVK, what's up, bro? We joined just in time, we just started the game. And we got to pick the deer. So you can enjoy an absolute Pog Champ performance on the Monic Embrace Jack Show deer. See you how it's done.
Garen, my boy, I am here with the damage. Sit down, pussy boy. My god, that was clutch. I had to kind of focus for that. I did not think he would camp there. Whew. Yeah, that's how you play the deer. So skankable. Let me just run through here though. I need to grab the other scatter grab. No respect given. That shit. Inner peace. Inner peace. Inner peace. Oh God, he's magnificent. Beautiful, beautiful Udir. Oh, starting items are fucking nutty. Usually I go um, Blasting Worn for that early damage, but since I had enough money to actually get Boots and Dark Seal, as long as I get some stacks on Dark Seal, I won't miss the damage of uh, Blasting Worn too much. And the extra attack is just gonna allow me to do some nasty shit. Early Giant spell is pretty nutty. Like, look at my health bar right now. From a level 6 champion, you don't expect a health bar like this first back. I'm fucking monstrous right now. I don't know who pinged for Drake, but I like the pink. So I'm going with it. Don't have wards on this either. Oh, I can feel that this game is gonna be a free win. We're already so far ahead. Gank this still though. Oh, this guy is disrespecting me. Okay. Okay, I guess I'm not ganking if he sees me this deep in the jungle. The guy was actually emoting. Oh my god, does he survive? That would have been really good. Sup, Khant? Here for my free kills. Got it. Kinda hoping for Pantheon to be here. Okay. I want to do 1v1 him. I don't think he has a chance. Let's recall here. I need to get to blue buff. Walking there is the same way as from base. Might as well spend my money on the way. Is our support rushing Rod of Ages? Oh my lord. This is Platinum 2, by the way. What the fuck is this? Okay, they don't want the gank, I guess. Shit, 
fent meg lenn. I actually didn't watch the map, I didn't know Malphite was here, I, st I thought he was still chilling bot lane. Massive, huge. Good job on that, nice rotation. Engaged way too early. He wanted to ult when he still didn't have the damage to kill her with it. Then he had to flash out. It was super wasteful. If he would have just waited a second longer for me to make her low health enough, that would have been way safer. Why is Pantheon, man? This guy is not doing anything the entire game. If I get this Herald, I actually get um, Demonic Embrace, so it's pretty important. It's pretty important that we grab that. Wow. My god, they are bad. They are really fucking bad. This Varus ultimate was something else. Doesn't have ult. Not much you can do. <laughs> I like this melee fight, man. Shut down. Yo, yo, what program do you use to edit? Uh, Adobe Premiere Pro. It's super fucking expensive, and you can't actually perform on it without watching a tutorial here and there but once you get the hang of it in my opinion it's the best editing software out there like for quality videos it has some issues of course every every program has its issues but like quality wise massive you have to stop face tanking her huh? was such in from, from this Garen. Made it impossible to grab that kill. He probably knows that Gwen's ult needles heal her. Um, but he played like he didn't, so I typed in chat. So he knows what I think, what kind of a player he is. Oh no. Play around my boy Malphite, what is this? Come on. Yo, are we throwing the free win right now? Better not. Better not throw this freebie in the dirt. I want the win. The team comp is shit. And the players are even worse. There's no way we lose. I'm so far ahead in items. I melt dragons, dude. I could probably do Baron solo at 20 minutes. Sure. 
By the way, Joker, why do you ask which editing software I use? Are you planning on doing YouTube as well? Thought you were just a streamer. Got anything in mind? Wanna do a montage or what are you looking for? I could spam gank this guy, but for what? I think maybe if I got it under control, I should help top lane get this turret. Running it a little bit. It's all right. I bridge many divides. I'm just gonna play around every objective, and we should probably win for free. If I don't die. And I keep this tempo up, like, keep being ahead, like, one full fucking item. Uh, I don't think there's anything they can do. Players dumb. I think Pantheon might have rage quit. I haven't seen this Pantheon in ages. Last time I saw him, he was level 9. This might be accurate, but he should be at least level 10, in my opinion. But look at the farm lift. Nope, he just showed up. Wow, he's still in the game. He's just Im immensely trash. He's building Gale Force? Oh my lord, yeah, this game is a freebie. He's building Gale for us, guys. By the way, um, don't build Magi's like I did right here. I had enough money to just straight up get um, Jack Show and have two complete items at 16 minutes, which is pretty huge. Um, but we are so far ahead, and I think. I'm good enough on the deer to just straight up pop off on the uh, stack item. If I want to be able to 1v1 Baron at 20 minutes, uh, I need the extra power. Yo, what's up, NASA? Good welcome. You joined to an absolute banger. We're performing on the deal, as always. What elo is this game? We're platinum two right now. On our way to diamond. Last season we stopped playing on diamond four. I want to get masters this season. So um, yeah, we're shooting for the stars right now. Enough, good enough. That is bad, that's really bad, that's really bad, that's really bad. Yikers, bro. I could have smited. But we got it. I take an assist, I don't need the kill. I want the smite for the dragon. I almost lost my stacks by walking into this Varus ultimate. Oh, that was really fucking reckless.
Okay, we can get our Jack Shaw now in 18 minutes, which is still fucking huge. Because then we have three complete items. My god. I'm swimming in gold right now. Baron is up in one minute. Shut down? I don't like the sound of that. Baron is spawning in 40 minutes and you have nothing better to do than die. Excuse you. Why are you doing me like this, my guy? How disgusting is that, by the way? She took half my health before going down without ultimate. Barry and a mana. Jesus. There's nobody at Baron. I pinged Baron one minute before spawn. I asked in chat to play around it. Nobody's there. They're all just playing for fun because we got 29 kills versus 16. Yes, we are hard winning, guys, but can we like finish the game, please? They're actually blaming me for this, by the way. That is crazy. Crazy bro, crazy. Nah man, I had to let them know. Dude, nah. They take a fight down here because they're half a minute late for the Baron. And then they blame me for not taking the fight instead of going for Baron. If we would have all been at Baron on spawn, this thing would have been dead before the fight wouldn't even have happened. It's fucking ridiculous. I, I wouldn't have said anything if they wouldn't have blamed me after that. The fact that they blame me after taking this retarded fight is outrageous. Outrageous, bro. I'm 709, the absolute Udia menace. And they have the balls to defy me. Crazy. Make it make sense, doctor. Twenty seconds to dragon, that's actually a soul. How do we get the dragon so fast? What the fuck? We actually getting dragon extinction. Oh no, you need elder dragon for that as well. Forgot about that.
enemy has been slain. An enemy has been slain. Alright, time to finish this. An ally has been slain. My god, I got 320 AP. Oh, only when she buffs me, okay, I see. I got 280 AP. Still a lot for tank with here. I got two AP items and I have 280 AP. That's nasty. Awesome, man. <sighs> Doesn't get any cleaner than that, really. It doesn't get any cleaner than that. I would have zero death if Jakshul wouldn't kill me in the end for playing a perfect game. Troll ass item, bro. Two and oh. Not honoring anybody of you shitters. You played good early and then you fucked around and that kind of pissed me off. Can't lie. 19 LP. Okay, 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 okay. Where's objective damage? There it is. Yep. I pretty much did every dragon and baron by myself. Kinda crazy. The objective damage they have is pretty much only through turrets. Which is fine, I guess, if they push turrets and I take dragon. As long as they distract the enemy team. I don't know, a little bit of help here and there would be appreciated though. Alright. Dude, I think we just keep the fucking elo train running. I mean, why stop? I still have time for, I think, two more games, depending on how long they go. If we have really fast games, I can even play three games, but probably only two. I have work early tomorrow. It should have been my day off, um, but they asked me to fill in for somebody. I was like, as long as it's an early shift, that's okay. Because guess what? Tomorrow I might have an early shift, but that means I can stream in the evening. So I'm streaming today and tomorrow. As long as I have early shifts, I can stream so often. I kind of like this meta where you just push up everybody who wants to pick an OP champion like me picking Udyr right now and top lane and mid lane get shoved uh, to the bottom so they can pick late to counter pick the enemy. Makes so much sense. Maokai ban is actually probably a good idea. I hate Belvef more though. If Belvef comes through because I ban Maokai now I'm gonna be mad. If I pick Wukong into Belvef, it's fine, but Udia is not too fun against her.
Elise, okay. <laughs> Elise is actually one of my favorite uh, jungle enemies. If her E is down, she has zero fucking escape. Once I get my hands on her with Udia, she's toast. You know what? Let's play Goku Udia. I haven't played that one in a while. Can't play Cyber Udia every game. Especially if we don't do the Cyber Udia item build. Now, where did I put it? Goku Udia. Or did I name it Dragon Ball Udia? I probably named it Dragon Ball Udia. Yeah, there it is. Idea, run that shit. There we go. They're very AP heavy. If Caitlyn doesn't get fed, I can go Force of Nature's third item and just run through their teams. It's not really worth to build armor against Camille anyway, because she deals true damage. I can get, go plated steel caps maybe for Caitlyn and Camille. I would have to ditch my Swifty boots, but they don't have much slows anyway. Although they might build Rylice. Have to see. We shall see. If Swain and Heimerdinger both build Rylai's, Swifty Boots would be pretty fucking huge to have. But I won't need an armor item if I go plated steel caps for Camille and Caitlyn. Both very valuable boots options this game. And I have to choose pretty early on. Smurf. Who would pick Elise if you have zero fucking experience on her in ranked? Elise is not an easy champion. I kind of miss seeing people with like huge amounts of mastery, like my 1.3 million Udia. Like, where the one tricks at? 180,000, 150,000 isn't bad, but that's not like one trick level, in my opinion. Man, well, we already get Diamond Force in our team, huh? That should explain why I get 19 LP per game. 19 to 20 LP per game. I'm still Platinum 2, but I'm getting Diamond people in my games already. So we all, we're already scratching the surface of Diamond MMR. Hear me, spirits, and arise to my call. Welcome to Summoner's Rift. For many years I thought I was... 30 seconds until minions spawn. Cringe are you, Swain? I'm not giving you a passive stack. Bodies 
are not vessels. They are anchors. Your protective nature shines through you, spirit. Really focused right now to not lose too much HP in the jungle because I want to gank bot lane badly. I want to be fast, but I don't want to lose too much HP. Shit. You have been slain. Ah. <sighs> Even in death, well, silence is brief. That fucking sucked. Okay, minor setback. Great shield system. I step through treacherous water. Okay. That is actually absolutely trash. I cannot gank bot lane now. Crux won't give me level 4 and I don't have my fucking arm pissed. Yep, dude, I can't get my level 4. Oh my lord, bro. I swear to god, invade my jungle, I find you in real life. I kill your dumbass. I don't think I will get level 4 of this either. Nope, sure won't. Dude, can we like spread around the experience a little bit? Why do buffs give the most experience like by far? They give twice as much experience compared to every jungle camp. That's kind of crazy, isn't it? Like just change it for first clear. I need to take every jungle camp to reach level 4. Enemy jungler takes one jungle camp, I don't get level 4, I can't gank. It's a little bit ridiculous, isn't it? God, I'm so weak. This is not the first back I'm used to. That back off. Okay, we flash Heimerdinger W for that, fine. Dude, this is such a fiesta, I don't like this. They're not even playing good, they just have to kill me every time. They're fucking desperate for kills and it's kinda cringe. 
I'm going Swifties, by the way, because Caitlyn is not getting any kills for now. I know you don't have flash up, you used it on me, dumbass. We are trying to trick here. An ally has been slain. This is top side, it should be dragon. You care to take it. It's definitely a very interesting game. We're not hard winning or neither are we hard losing. We were behind at the start but we clawed our way back up. It's not often you get games like these. At least probably took my entire blue side so I might as well gank bot lane. There yet. Kinda wanted that kill, my guy. We made a good chunk of gold. Not enough for the Monaghan Braves, but we can build this instead. If we have, if we would have had perfect amount of money for the Monaghan Braves at 10 minutes, that would be pretty nice. Um, but not having perfect amount of money allows us to pick up Dark Seal and stack it. So, gotta stay optimistic. Yeah, she did take my blue buff, but actually not my blue side. And Scarlet Red, nice. Not as bad as expected. She stole two buffs of me already, which is kind of annoying, but... That's what it is. Wow, we got a flash off of that as well. 
That is massive. And I could use the ghost movement speed to get back into my jungle. Oh, I love efficiency. Oh, we have enough for demonic. Thought about uh, taking raptors, then looking around dragon, but... Demonic is a big spike, I don't want to miss. This is definitely one of these games where I won't build out uh, Dark Seal, I'm sure. Oh my god, man got moves. I need to do something to get this cringy thing off of me! <sighs> Why does this ult slow anyway if this motherfucking champion builds Rylice? Right, there's no need. Putting a slow on Swain's ultimate is the same shit as putting a slow on Senna's Q. That shit was so unnecessary. Senna's Q slow is a change that is so long ago that nobody cares anymore, but it was super controversial when it came out. Because at the time, everybody was doing Grasp of the Undying or um, Glacial Augment on Senna. And Glacial Augment was usually better, but people wanted to go grabs. So Riot was like, here you go, slow on your Q. Now you don't have to go Glacial Augment. You now have to get, you now get to have Glacial Augment and, why are they pinging? Glacial Augment and Grasp of the Undying at the same time. So, is my Kaisa eating or what's happening right now? Dude, Kaisar just stood on a turret and ran into them because I took my Krux that she wanted. Then she was low on health and left lane when I was coming in for a gang. Dude, can we please not play emotionally? Can we please not play emotionally charged? Play the game like it's supposed to? That is crazy that some people are willing to throw an entire lane, maybe even an entire game just because their emotions get the better of them. Dude, like... Dude like me, hey. Like, venting out loud or typing a little bit of chat here and there, it might not be the most healthiest thing, but it's better than what she's doing. Christ almighty, bro. By the way, I can't clear my fucking jungle because every time I wanna, somebody needs help somewhere on the map. Like, I have to skip blue to help this guy, apparently. Why didn't Yasu win more? Yeah, I agree, but...
I remember specifically Riot nerfing Wind Wall from 30 second cooldown to 20. Damn it, I never make it in time. It's up in a minute. Don't rush me, bro. It's up in a minute. Shitting me, bro? Yes, let's play emotionally charged. I have to take Raptors before going back and getting my item. If I'm late for Dragon, it's actually fucking Kai's asshole, bro. But you know, you don't see me, like, now fucking running it down mid lane because Kaisar didn't give me the minion I wanted. I vent about it and that's it, I keep playing. I adapt and try to overcome the situation in, in a different way. But god damn if it isn't annoying. Do we just rush this shit? Nobody's zoning. There you go. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for the zoning, friends. That was magnificent zone. May I add? Ah, oh, fuck, I walked into that. My bad. My bad, my bad. Okay, we get midland turret off of this, I think. Fuck it. Took the turret. Yes, yes. Dude, isn't it crazy that there's fucking Dude, there's supports in in, in pro play that will hit the ward three times and then actually wait for the ADC to last hit it. To give them the ward gold, right? And in my fucking platinum shit games, I hit a ward three times for the support to come by and snag the gold from it. You know how crazy that is? How the fucking ego destroys this beautiful, beautiful game. Oh my god, we sidestep those. Fuck out of your pussies. Please die to that, that would be so hilarious. I can't really help you with that, to be honest. Glad you got that kill, but... Once I'm in there, I can't get out anymore. God, I'm too nasty. Oh, the calculations. I do not care, she does not outsmart. On her wildest dreams. Does she outsmart a wild here? Just 
stand a chance. Grab that force of nature we wanted to get. So far, not building any armor aside from Jack Show has been perfectly fine because Caitlyn and Camille did not get fed at all. Which is just beautiful. Which is just simply beautiful. Give me them stacks, boy. I guess we could uh, build the fucking stack item after all. Got 10 stacks, but can't be worth it, can it? Oh my god, hit him with the Wombo combo. Dude, as soon as I had like two items we just took over, Udia is a little bit of a problem at the moment. Alright. GG's. Dude, I think next stream is just gonna be for funning again. I don't know, because... I, I might do some LP grind off stream, unironically. I don't know. It's a little bit too easy right now. <laughs> does does that sound stuck up? It's a little bit too easy, bros. Woody is very strong right now. I think we will start uh, getting problems in high diamond, but as long as I'm still in high platinum, low diamond, it's just piss stomping every game. I think I've lost a total of two or three ranked games. Let me actually check. I, I really don't want to sound stuck up or anything like this. You know? I'm just saying, um, it's not as much of a challenge as it used to be. So we're three and zero oh already today. We were five and one yesterday, uh, the day before. Uh, sort of ranked. Okay, check it out. Okay, this hasn't fully updated yet either, but okay, I will roll with it. Oh my god, what is this? Wait, what happened here? Oh, I think 13 days ago? Yeah, okay, this was before the season ended. See, like before the season ended, it was actually harder. See, I lost games before the season ended. Maybe because I wasn't Diamond. This was the first game I played in the new season, this Fiora game. I got Phil top lane and Udi got banned, so I picked Fiora. We lost. We lost this one, we lost this one. That's it. That's it, bro, that's it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That's 12 games and I lost 3 of them. So 9 wins, 3 losses. On Udi, I only have one loss, and that one loss was 8 and 3, with most damage in the team. Like, I, I would find it hard to believe to not climb just straight through diamond right now. But I want it to be more difficult. Does that sound fucked up? Does that make sense? I want it to be more difficult. 
so it feels like more of an achievement. Udia is very strong right now. I kind of wish they would nerf him harder. Can't lie. If we win one more game, we get platinum one. Don't know if the deer, bro. We have to. We have to. He's too strong. He's too strong. You see what's happening on your screen, Quitter? It's too strong, man. We're, we're drunk with power, Quitter. Can't you see what's becoming of us? It's either die a hero or see yourself become the monster. We've been fucking legends when we played the old Udia. We made this fucking artifact of, of, of time. Uh, our weapon, you know, and then it got reworked and it got fucking broken OP and now we're abusing it Sure, we are we are playing it because it, it, It's our main champion and It got reworked and we still want to play it, right? But that doesn't stop us from abusing at the same time. I want to play with here because it's my It's the champion. I can play the best but I'm ga and gaining stupid amounts of LP because I'm good on Udir and Udir is pretty fucking broken right now. Before his rework it was like, Udir is decent, um, but you know I can I can make him work by having enough experience on him. I kind of want to play a for fun game, bro. I think I'm just gonna go for a for fun game, yeah. I'm gonna take a piss and play a for fun game. I can't... Dude, sorry. Guys, sorry. I can't play another game of this. It's boring me. I was super behind at the start of this game. I got in... I wanted to early gang bot lane after first clear. I got piss stomped at my red buff, level 3. My red buff got stolen. I didn't get red... Uh, I didn't get level 4 until I did Crux, Scuttle Crab... And Grump. I could only gank at like fucking minute 7. And we still fucking won. Yeah, you can join. You can join. Absolutely. But th this is retarded. Uh, sorry. <laughs> this is stupid. Yeah, I, 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 I like free LP. And I'm gonna abuse it every now and then. Just so to get my climb to diamond going. And we can start climbing to masters. But come on, bro. This is... I, I need... I need... I need different builds every now and then. I can't build the same shit every now and then. Why do you think I have the very successful YouTube web series 101 audio builds? I cannot build the same audio build over and over and over again. I just cannot. All right. With that being said, I'm going to take a piss. I'll be right back. Two minutes. Um, and then we play for fun game.
Alright, gamers, we back. By the way, um, just a side note. Today, I had... Um, I ordered Subway. And I got a cookie for free. Dude, I cannot count on one hand anymore how often I have gotten a free cookie with my Subway order, by the way. It's kind of crazy. If you regularly order at Subway or eat there, you're lying to me if you say you never ever gotten a free cookie. Like either you're really 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 ugly and or unlikable <laughs> or you've gotten really unlucky with the subway you're going to and some kind of asshole works there. But I've gotten so many free cookies at Subway. They just give these out, man. I haven't even checked which uh, which taste I've gotten. Oh shit! Just broke apart. They're too soft. I got rainbow candy. Poggers. Rainbow candy is my second favorite. Well, hmm. I actually don't have a favorite. I I never order all the same cookies. I usually order three cookies, and it's uh three different kinds and uh, my top favorite cookies are definitely raspberry macadamia nut and rainbow but i wouldn't order any of these solely like i i need all of them not just all three the same kind right okay let's go nice let's go hope you have been working on your on your shovel man in the jungle, Quitter. Man, raspberry cheesecake is so underrated. And one of these cookies I never tried because I look at it and be like, there's not even chocolate in there. Why would I eat that? <laughs> that does Raspberry cheesecake? That that sounds too healthy to me. Raspberries? Blah. Get it out of here, right? It's like putting raisins in chocolate. Why would you do that? I gave it a try. Magnificent. Magnificent. Just give it a try, man. Give it a try. Every, everything in life you just try once. And raspberry cheesecake, you can try more than just one time. Why do, we have a, why do we have a support Aatrox? What is happening? Quilla, you're getting the weirdest people in our fucking game again. Yeah, I'm playing Udia. I'm actually using this game to collect a little bit more footage for Cyber Udia. What is this team, bro? I mean, I mean, there's worse things than ADC cannon. But against a meta ADC like Samira, you might just get your ass whooped. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> I think Kennen actually has a decent chance. If he exhausts at the right time when Samira is engaging, he can stop her damage from long enough until she's stunned through his ultimate. He actually gets bonus resistances on his ultimate as well. So Samira will have a really hard time all in in Kennen unless he gets hard CC by Nautilus. So as long as Kennen doesn't get caught by Nautilus, I think he actually has a chance against Samira if he knows how to play a Kennen ADC. Bro, it would be such good footage for the game. 
I mean for the video. If I build Rod of Ages, Cyrus Embrace, Udyr, and I beat Rise building the same items, that would be fucking hilarious. It's Olaf top. Yeah, I'm fine with these runes. That was fine. Nobody dodge. I want this game. It seems like the only team in all of EU West that wouldn't flame you. Now, to be honest, I think we're getting our ass whooped, bro. But we can have fun from early to mid game if we pop off. If Rice or Samira gets fed, though, they can drag out the game for long enough for the rest of the team to catch up and they just outscale us in the late game. I guess no way we win in late game against this. Maybe if we keep like catching people, singling them out, maybe, but I, I just don't see us winning a 5v5 team fight when they have Sijuani in all those frontline. Who the fuck is supposed to stand in front of Cannon and Victor? Me? Fuck no. Gangplank? Hell no. And Quitter, I think you with Vi frontlining against this much hard to see. I mean, you can use your ult to override some hard C, but that only like saves us two or three seconds at, at the most. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna do my build and have fun. Wait, this guy is mad. Is there anything to stop? Right. Welcome to Summoner's Rift. I mean, if you go Hail of Blades, might go, might as well go Eclipse, right? Hit him real hard. Oh, I don't know what to go here. Guess Doran's ring. Dude, I don't know. Udia, Udia needs to change, bro. Either that or I start playing Rift Maker for fun again. Although I think Jack Show is better. But I can't play more than three, maximum of four Jack Show Udia games in a row. It's just too, too much of the same shit, right? Every game just feels the same. Nice trade, bro. You just had to pick that that axe up. Just had to, didn't you? Well, I didn't play for my level 2. Wow. He <laughs> didn't even throw it far now. I was so ready to tank that Q. To work on my last hitting. Silence. On Tiger, it's so easy. On Phoenix, the attack animation feels weird. 
Plus, Tiger mana cost is so low, you can actually use its active to, to last it, really. On Phoenix, it's not as cheap. I bridge many divides. Where is this guy? He used half his mana and I'm full health. People who don't know how to play against the deer. Fucking adorable. You want this minion, don't you? Yeah, you're gonna have to spend some mana for that. Where do you think you're going, honey? You're not walking out of this lane till I say so. I guess I use one potion just in case I get ganked. Against these type of players, Demolish is so good. You just shove them into the turret over and over and over again, getting platings. This guy is a pussy. Or standing there taking it. Cringe. Or standing there taking the fight. Flashed out. I played chicken with him. Imagine playing chicken with an Olaf and Olaf flashes out. That's unheard of. There's a huge bag. I can grab Catalyst and uh, Tear of the Goddess. Massive. Oh my god, this Olaf doesn't even have to be. I will out level this guy so hard. Matter of fact, I'm betting right now I can get four levels on this Olaf. I will be four levels ahead at some point if they don't surrender. If they do not surrender, I get four levels on this Olaf. Bet. I'm sorry I have to lane like this, Olaf, but I'm kind of learning how to last it, and this is really helping me. Oh. Somebody has anger issues. You don't have the damage to kill me 100 to 0. Absolute delusion of fuck. This might kill me, though.
Uh, it's kind of crazy. I have Mana Fluband, Doran's Ring, Tear of the Goddess, and Catalyst of Eons. Talk about overkill, but I will never run out of mana. I can literally trade in my mana for health. Oh, this guy's trolling. What the fuck? Why would you W there? I feel bad for this guy. Fuck me, man. Quit on the next time we play, we have to go flex Q. These people ain't shit. Fine if I back you without being able to afford this because I don't want to finish this item now anyway. I get boots first. Marks. I have a lot of hearts to see. Point and click, root, ult, E, Q, auto attack, E, Q. Like they have so much to see, bro. Enemy oh, there's no way you get your ass whooped by the shitter. What the hell? He's not worth it, bro. Fuck. No, don't do it. Don't. I swear to God, you troll. Trolling quitter. Man, your entire jungle is up and you want to kill this garbage ass Olaf. Doesn't matter if he has flash or not, you're dead regardless. It's not worth for me to get this kill after you die. Your entire jungle is up. Lucky. An ally has been slain. An ally has been slain. By the way, Quitter, have you been streaming again? I haven't checked, but I haven't gotten any notifications. You kinda like only stream one time and then never again. I call the chaos of Wait for my awakening real quick. <laughs> Fucking hell, you had flash up the whole time? You could have flashed on me earlier. Right? 
sir. Well, I guess we're losing this game. I'm just gonna have a nice land phase though. Rice has no idea almost there. Mother I don't really have to run from him while he uses ult, but I can't chase him either. So as soon as he drops low on health, we'll just run away. It's not worth trading my health for his, if I'm not getting the kill anyway. We have to steal some health from minions. Your team has destroyed a turret. Is that a deer? Why are you never going back, bro? Turret. This guy's not letting it fall. I need more damage. Luckily, I can afford me this large rod now, so that should be just the damage I need. After that, I finish Rod of Ages. I wanted to finish Rod of Ages late, so the level up is more worth it. So, if you finish it early, you get the level up early, but if you finish it late, you get the le level up late. And the later you get the level up, the more worth it it is. You don't want to delay it too much. But a little bit is fine. Your turret has been destroyed. Why doesn't he just clear the moments? I think he missed an entire wave just by focusing me. I think I've been going about this wrong. I've been dropping Awakened Phoenix on him on a turret. Um, but with his W he was actually able to tank that. I should have used Awakened Turtle to get damage on turrets instead. Fuck off, bro. I thought I still knew how to. I mean, I would have to look at your gameplay to actually pass judgment on your Vi. Not the most difficult champion though. Mother bear. I will shoulder the weight of this world until my last... It's not 
much you can actually do wrong with her. And you d just just remember to use your E as an auto attack reset to get bonus damage in and to uh, proc your passive as fast as you can. Try to hard CC the enemies in favor of your team so they can collapse on them with you. Stuff like that. Snapped some ankles right there. I'm willing to 1v2 these guys, but first I want Rod of Ages. Before that, I'm not really too sure if I can actually pull it off. It might be bad, but they might just beat me through like sheer champion stats. So I'm gonna grab Rod of Ages, get my final 3 4 stacks in on uh, Arc Energy Staff, and I pop off. Oh, Bardo to Zerts, what's up, man? My fellow Kaihaku poggers. I'm already done with the rank grind for today. Um, I'm 3 and 0, Platinum 2 right now. Next win will get me to Platinum 1. But playing the same Udia build over and over again was boring, so I'm playing a for fun normal game right now before I go offline. I just. I, I couldn't bring myself to play another game with Jack Show, Demonic Embrace, Udia. It, it's kind of boring. It's really stat checky. I might play, start playing Rift Maker again just to like have a higher stakes kind of game. You dig? Where's this Victor? Oh my god. That was an easy 3v2. Quita backed out and Victor wasn't even there to begin with. I was the only one going in and I ate the full fucking rice combo making me half health. But yeah, I mean, I called the game since we lost 5 minutes ago. I have half the kill participation and this is really really sad with two kills. Yeah, it's fine. This is uh, it's the last game anyway. After this I on stream. Hey, bitch. Rice was coming bot side and I didn't have my awakened E up to escape from him, so I had to be out. But I don't know how to win this. Look at this shit. 7 0 ADC, 9 0 mid laner. This is unwinnable. Face though. It's fun while it lasted. Oh, we're not done gaming yet, apparently. My team deems this game winnable. Who am I to judge? Hey, who knows? Maybe they know something I don't know. Maybe I should go Lich Bane just so I can split push, open the gates.
Yeah, I'll, I'll get a Sheen. I'm not going full on Lich Bane. I want the uh, Frozen Heart first, but I'm grabbing a Sheen. Going split push. There's no way. Like, team. Looking at the. Um, the team composition alone is like, damn, this is a rough team fight against their team. But now that it's fucking 10 and 0, 8 and 0, like, bro, nah. I walk in there, I get blown up in a second. I can't get a car team fight. Remember when I said this seems like the only team that wouldn't flame each other? Good times. Wow, everybody's coming for me, huh? They're sending 10 0 Rise and 9 0 Samira for me. I guess my team can fight though. 10 0 Rise is with me. If you want to take a 4v4, I guess it. Now would be the best time. Just somehow have to take out Samira right at the start of the fight. You know what? Never mind. Rice will probably TPN for the fight. I just keep splitting. I'll get this turret eventually. Either that or I keep Rice here. Rise. I think that's gonna stop me. You think stopping my minions will stop me? Think again. I'm the deer, baby. Now, oh, fuck this. Okay, okay, you know what? I take that. He flashes for that? Desperate much? Wow. Yeah, I definitely need some cooldown reduction to spam my spells a little bit harder. I got the turret though. Honestly, it doesn't really matter to me if fucking Rise has 10 or 11 kills. I don't think it makes a fucking difference. If you look at the item he already has, how, how much worse can it get? So I'm fine with this. I grab the turret and his flash. And we might even be able to 1v1 Olaf here again. If he's alone, we can have a little fun again. Oh love, just for old old time's sake, let's 1v1 again. It's so long, bro. Where you going? Come on. Old time's sake. No. He doesn't want to. That's a damn shame. Um, I would have been out of there, you know? He didn't have to do that. I guess I appreciate it, but I was fine. I just awakened E through his uh, fucking point and click. Nobody expects you to do shit if you're 0 7, quitter. I don't think I will be able to gain 4 levels on Olaf like I promised, but as soon as I get my Rod of Ages deck I might be 3 levels ahead. Also pretty good, but... Yeah, no. Oh 
boy. It's quite a bag we got there. Will I spend it on my Lich Man? Absa fucking loot. There's no way they beat Rise though. That's a monster. Like at this health, I wouldn't even be able to beat Rise. He just kites me. He doesn't run out of mana, so. Shut down? For what? Kidding. Need that. Need that storm. Nope. Okay. Really? Really. You guys are cringe. Ulting like that, bro? Yikes. Oh, I got my level 18. Olaf is level 14. Hey, I got it! Four levels ahead. Told ya. Told ya I could do it. Oh my god. I almost didn't believe it myself. I'm four levels ahead of the enemy top laner. Just FYI, there's a challenge um, that is getting three levels ahead of the enemy laner. So that should tell you how hard it is to actually get four levels good. Could you at least proc your fucking demolish before dying like the useless shitter you are? Oh, now they want to surrender. Ah, funny how that works. Alright, alright, I'm going, I'm going. Fuck. Kindly get the fuck off. My god, I'm schmoovin. My god, I'm schmoovin, I'm outta here! <laughs> Don't you do it. I know you wanna flash. Don't do it. <laughs> oh my god. I actually escaped there. I, I kinda would feel bad though to make a clip out of that and upload it to Twitter or like YouTube shorts or whatever. Because I mean, the enemies are trash. They're not my level. They do be winning the game because they're fat as fuck, but they don't be on my level. Let's be real. Wouldn't be really be fair to make like to clown on these guys. My god, this guy's 15 and 0 by now. Yikers. I guess I just keep splitting. Taking objectives. There's no one in hell you will ever get into group against fucking two hard carries with 15 kills. Please don't come with me, quitter. It's better if I do it solo. The more teammates are on different parts of the map, the higher the chances I can uh, get 
get the objective I'm going for. Because you're splitting the uh, you're splitting the attention of the enemy, right? They are busy with you somewhere else. There's a higher chance I can get the turret. Now they do have Baron recoil though, so I don't think I will be fast enough. Nope, not quite fast enough. Your team has really close. I had to actually awaken Q to get that. Time windows are so tiny. I'm chill, this game sucks, but I'm chill. <laughs> Those are quite contradictory statements, but I trust you. Absolutely get one shot. If I only get single hearts this year. They have Elder Dragon and so on. There's a tiny, tiny, tiny chance we win. Actually, do, uh, through breaching the gates. If you're somehow able to clear the minions... Nah, of course not. Victor is AFK as well. Yeah. Nah, it's over. Well, I guess we tried. <sighs> Dude, I can't be everywhere, it is what it is. I could have stayed base and keep awake and Phoenix spa spamming on minion ways, but... Whatever. Had to go for it at some point, man. What? Well, you know what? In the end, at least I got a stack on global defense system. Inching closer to rank one challenger global defense system. Could be worse, couldn't it? Could be worse. That Victor actually dealt a lot of damage for being 0-9. Then again, I barely even fought enemies. Like, most pro to total damage I probably have more. Because I was just split pushing the entire game. Yeah, total damage to turrets. Magic damage dealt. See, magic damage dealt in total, I actually have more than him. Because of all the minions I killed. It was a fucking massacre. So, I could have had more farm. For having sh such a shit lane opponent like this Olaf. I should have had more farm. How much did I have? 280 now. In a fucking 35 minute game I can easily have 300 plus farm. It's kinda bad for me. I can frame this as my first, uh, as my worst game. You mean you can frame this as your worst game yet? <laughs> Alright. Uh, it's fine. You know what? This this game was still better than playing another ranked game with Jakso, Demonic Embrace, Ulia, because that shit is so boring. At least I had a play here and there, I had a fun lane phase, you know. I had a different Ulia build, most important of all. We did a little bit of gates, I made a nice little escape. It, it's a little bit less meaningless when the players are not on my level. Um, it was still fun in the moment, so hey, it's alright. It's alright. So. Um, I'm gonna call it quits for today. Uh, tomorrow evening I'm actually streaming again and we're probably gonna do a full-on for fun stream. Um, just gonna play the old Ulia builds again probably. 
and um, yeah. yeah, that's gonna be pretty much it for me. I have to go offline now because I've got work early tomorrow, it is what it is, you know how it is, the grind never stops, online or offline. Uh, if you want to keep up to date with everything I, can, uh, I do, you can follow my Twitter, at wild underscore udia. If you want to see some quality content, you can head over to YouTube, a wild udia on YouTube. And if you like neither of that stuff, I just catch you back on my stream, okay? Thank you for hanging out. Had huge fun.